Recently, after Donald Trump announced the historic decision to move the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, thereby recognizing something that the people and government of Israel already appear to know and honor, that Jerusalem is the undivided capital of Israel, dot the fake news industrial complex in the left completely lost it and began to melt down in Antifa fits of rage and spluttering confoundedness. It was quite entertaining too, I must say. The necessary wringing of hands began on all the liberal political news shows as they all assured us that this move by Trump would finally push the Islamic world over the edge and there would be massive amounts of blood running in the streets. When the Palestinian Day of Rage took place the very next day, the left pointed to it and said glee, you see? We told you so. Look what Donald Trump has wrought. Never once, by the way, did we hear about the previous days of rage by terror-prone countries over the course of the past year. They apparently have lots of rage that requires special situations to occur in order to air their grievances, news cameras. While it's obvious that the Israelis and the Arabs have issues going on for thousands of years, I might add, to say that this is because of something Donald Trump just did as intellectually dishonest and, quite frankly, stupid. To prove this, beauty pageant Queen Miss Iraq recently posed in a photo with Miss Israel to show how they were truly looking for solidarity. Knocks on the door revealed that Muslims were not on board and Miss Iraq's family actually had to flee the country in fear for their very lives, the Daily Wire. Last month, at the Miss International beauty pageant, Miss Iraq, Sarah Iden, posed for photos with Miss Israel, Adar Gandalsman, for their respective Instagram accounts. Iden's caption read, Peace and love from Miss Iraq and Miss Israel, Gandalsman wrote on her Instagram post, Get to know, this is Miss Iraq and she's amazing. She added on Facebook, practicing bringing world peace, the backlash from parts of the Muslim world targeting Aiden, 27, was so fierce that she posted a defense on Instagram, writing in Arabic on Instagram, I want to stress that the purpose of the picture was only to express hope and desire for peace between the two countries, but adding that the photo did not indicate support for the Israeli government and offering an apology if the photo was harmful to the Palestinian cause. It didn't help, as the Jerusalem Post reports. Gandelsman, who has become good friends with Aiden, told Hadashat that Aiden's family, which still lives in Iraq, has been forced to flee the country after receiving death threats for Aiden's photos with Gandelsman as well as Aiden's posing in a bikini. Gandelsman added that Aiden said she does not regret posting the photos. She said, she did it to so that people can understand that it's possible to live together. In order for people to see that, we can connect, in the end we are both human beings, Aiden has not removed the photo with Gandelsman from her Instagram account. Other Muslim beauty pageant contestants have been targeted for even less when it comes to Israel. In 2015, Miss Lebanon, Sally Greech, was targeted amid calls to strip her of her title after she appeared in a photo that included Miss Israel, Doran Matalan. Greege wrote later, From the first day I arrived at the Miss Universe pageant I was very careful not to take any pictures with Miss Israel, who tried repeatedly to take pictures with me. While I was preparing with Miss Slovenia and Miss Japan to get our photograph taken, Miss Israel jumped in and took a selfie with her phone and posted it on social media. The last August, then Miss Lebanon, Amanda Hanna, was stripped of her title after it was revealed she had traveled in Israel, as Lebanese citizens are forbidden by law to visit Israel. As is plainly obvious, these so-called days of rage have really nothing to do with our U.S. president, but are more to do with the everyday drudgery apparently of being a Muslim and having to share the same planet with Jews. This is so very abhorrent to them that they require everyone else to reject Israel, or else. When Barack Hussein Obama was in office and bowed to the supremacy and laws of the Muslim world, we all knew that it was wrong and it was short-sighted. The fact that Donald Trump is the 100% exact opposite incarnation of a president is good news and welcomed by an American public that we're looking for actual real hope and change, not just a presidential campaign slogan. Source, The Daily Wire Beauty Pageant, Iraq, Israel, Muslims.